Okay, so what is up, guys? Uh, it's me again. Uh, we have some info here. That's a leak that I actually watched this first in school thesis video. Uh, this is from Roy Dadadu. That's the name of the leaker. Uh, the leaks would be put in the description so you can check it out yourself. So we're just gonna scan it quickly. Okay, so just gonna delete some stuff here. Okay. So for the story, I'm not gonna tell you the story. If you don't want to spoil, get spoiled, I'm gonna just gonna scan it and search, actually search for some VGC stuff. Uh, some of the new, it okay, here. Some of the new previously unrevealed evolutions to Polcha, guys. Sinistra, Grass and Ghost, so similar to Bramble Gust. As access to interesting tool, interesting interesting tools such as strength up scald to hit fire type threats. That's actually nice. A grass and ghost type mon having scald maybe because it's a teapot or something. Strength up is having usage right now with bramble gas using it. I, I mean I I saw James Beck's team it's in Pittsburgh using a strength up bam bramble gas. So there's that. Uh, matcha gotcha. Signature removes a matcha gotcha. Grass type special move. That's a weaker base power of 65. Okay. Heals back 75% of the damage dealt to. And as a 30% chance to burn target. That's actually good. Even with the weaker base power. Because you heal back 75%. You have 30% chance to burn. And you also have strength up, which you can. Uh, you could recover and you have skull to hit fire type threat so it's actually pretty pretty good you can go like tailwind and uh you can go like tailwind and matcha gotcha or something like that uh, it also its ability of song hospitality heals 33.3 of the allies health which is good and my previous video i, I said that this could be TRS depending on the functionality. And so far, so good. Then, the plane has signature move. That is a grass type special move that traps the target for 3 turns. Uh, nice, uh, I guess. Lowers their speed stat by 1. That is actually nice. Lower uh, speed control is always nice in VGC. It has base power of 60 and accuracy of 75 names here of pop. For someone... Who lowers evasiveness or does not lower accuracy having a 75 accurate move with a base power of 60 is actually sad i don't know man they nerfed this move pretty hard with that accuracy okay new items chip cup and crack cup evolve polcha guys new tms knock off knock off is actually good if uh it becomes a tm uh, Rayloom has knock off and sometimes knock off is enough to like remove threats such as leftovers on Ursaluna uh, Ursa uh, Ursa no Ursaluna Gudra <coughs> other stuff uh, like assault vest or something but could otherwise make it harder to defeat KO opposing mods Skull Skull is sent uh, appearing in Scarlet Violet, it would be nice to have Skull back. Especially, it's a way for water type mons to like uh, do damage, do burn, uh, mitigate, and. Ah, my coughing. Control those physical attackers with the burn chance. A lot of mon would should be using it. A lot of mon will have. Water mons particularly will have high usage with uh, Scald if they have high horsepower. I mean, it's a strong move, I guess. If it, if it goes back to like Glass Trier, uh, Glass Trier would be even stronger. Polter guys, I really, really want Dragapult to have Polter guys. It's just so, so strong. Scorching Sands, of course. Uh, it's. More coverage for mods. That's nice. Then special competitive ambassadors play some VGC 2024 regulation E early. So Ogre Pond is restricted, so we will not be able to use it. Walking Wake, Iron Leaves, and Shaman won't it wouldn't be legal. 
Okay. So, Torterra and... Okay, so I didn't include this in the last uh, video that I had because I'm not sure. But apparently, Torterra, Infernape, and Empoleon would be in the game. So, that's exciting. Okie Dogi is like Incineroar, Rillaboom, and Iron Hand. So, that's nice. If it does have an Intimidate, it could be much nicer. Uh, it has Toxic Chain and Scrappy. Toxic Chain is that new ability that involves Poison. Has Fake Out, Knock Off, Parting Shot, and Taunt. So it's actually a combination of like the three. Uh, it has Close Combat Rain, Punch Gong Shot, and Poison Jump. Uh, fighting and Poison Coverage. Actually, that is nice. Uh, with, and with Fake Out, Knock Off, Parting Shot, and Taunt. It could be a very strong utility mon considering it's a legendary. Uh, it would have nice stats. Uh, next, you have Breaking Swipe. Oh, it has Breaking Swipe too. This is nice. Having Breaking Swipe, Snarl, U-Turn. Oh, it's like Incineroy, Incineroar on steroids without the Intimidate. This is actually nice. I'm actually liking this spot. Okay, lucky. Bulky strong and a decent speed tier. Oh, so exactly like Incineroar. <laughs> and it's able to outspeed Regieleg if Tailwind is set. Fighting Poison type of obviously dies to Psychic and with the abundance of Expanding Force next regulation could be bad. But still, if you have like uh, a strong support, bulky support that could outspeed the fastest if not one of the fastest mons in the meta, that would be eh, that would be extremely nice. Uh, Munkidori, fast and bulky. So fast and bulky. Psychic and poison type. So maybe the three, the loyal three is uh, all, are all bulky. Similar to Screamtail. So maybe it's a Screamtail with more attack. Because Screamtail is visual, uh, virtually has no damage. It has N core. Slack off, Snarl, Taunt, Thunder Wave, and more. I'm liking this legendary more and more. Has Toxic Chain, but gets Prankster. Okay, so this is one of the this is one of the mons that I would think I would put on S immediately. So support Pokemon with Prankster with all this stuff and more. Yeah, that it could be strong. Psychic Poison. Uh, you resist Fairy. Uh, you don't resist dark still but you resist psychic attacks back that's good uh, it will abuse stab moves from for chip damage side effects that is sludge bomb and psychic oh man that, that would be good this is much better than screen take let us prankster which has expanding force pollen puff trick room and other three of course it has trick room it's psychic type yeah. having just this expanding force uh, and this taunt that's enough that's enough it's like it's it's like an offensive indeed yeah it's more more like a strong like screen tail and indeed they combine they got muscles and they were just yeah it's freaking it's freaking strong this this is tier s for me this is tier s for me. the prankster is enough to put it on tier s Lastly, Fesendipity, a special attacker, Pharaoh and Poison type, dies to steal, dies to steal, still, 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 anyway. Uh, so bulky, like Enamorous and Fluttermane. Ah, similar bulk, like Enamorous and Fluttermane, so it's frail. Uh, toxic Chain, it gets Serene Grace. Okay, Serene Grace. Uh, not really good, I guess, but if it's fast, it's good. Powerful moves like Cruise and Tailwind. That's in Clean Moon Blast and Sludge Bomb. Not really uh, useful, I think. I didn't, I didn't have enough usage. I guess I have. There, there's a lot more better ones to have this. I mean, Ice Wind. Tornado says Ice Wind. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think it's better than the Okidogi and Monkidori. My, st my personal ranking here is Monkidori is first, Okidogi is second, and Fesendivity is third. Toxic Chain is similar to Poison Touch in that attacks the user, he can poison the target. Which is nice, we already know this. Uh, 
similar to the Tapus of Alola where they have abilities that are unique to them but also have hidden abilities. I'm hoping for a Tapu comeback. That would be nice. Uh, Blood Moon Urso Luna is... Uh, boosted. The boosted beast stat total similar to Roaring Moon. Walking Wake, Iron Valent, Iron Leaf. So it's pretty good. Faster and bulkier but hits weaker with its loss. Access to ability gods and stuff. That is bad. But I mean, they would not give it guts, I guess. Ursa Ring can't evolve to it, nor can Hisuan or Soluna change into this form. So I wonder how we evolve this, change it to Bloodwood form. Uh, it drops the normal type in favor steel type. Bullet Punch, Slack Off, Snarl, Stealth Rock, Steel, steel Roller, and Sucker Punch. But Sucker Punch is actually nice. A stronger... A strong mon like Blood Moon, Blood Moon Urso Luna uh, with Sucker Punch should be enough to KO some of those frame mods. Maybe if you partner it with Chen Pao, it could just annihilate uh, most of the mods immediately. It has Blood Moon, Ghost Type, base power of 150, base accuracy of 95, which is, you know, in VGC, 99, even 99 below 100 is like 50 50. It could be caught during the legendary beast, so maybe it's a one-off and has a terra type of ghost boosting the move through stab and removing its weakness to fighting type. Yeah, because it's still ghost. Yeah. It's nice. Ah, it, no, it's not still ghost. It's still ground. Then it's terra type is ghost. It's, uh, it has mind, mind's eye and oh my god. <laughs> he replaced guts with defiant. So how can I safely go to soccer, uh, save how can I safely go intimidate mons when there's a blood moon or saluna waiting for me with a base power similar to or saluna, a very powerful ghost type move, and soccer punch? This is tier S, this is tier S2. Mind's eye ability that basically combines clean eye and scrappy, it hits ghost and it ignores. Oh my god. It lost guts, which is sad, but it gains defiant, which is actually bonkers. And then Mind's Eye is a combination of Keen Eye and Scrappy and ignores stat drops from Intimidate. Man, that's strong. That's strong, man. Okay, uh, briefly going, we have. Oh, they have teams. Gastrodon has called its Surging Sands. Go, so Gastrodon has its has some of its support moves back. Brute Bonnet has Grassy Glide. Oh my dude. Brute Bonnet is slow and not slow, so Grassy Glide is a nice addition to its moveset. Galarian Articono has Burning Jealousy and Rose. Given. Uh, Rillaboom has Grassy Glide. Grassy Glide back, of course. Rillaboom with Grassy Glide is a tier S, tier S mod. I'm not arguing with anyone. This is a tier S one. Maybe they low they lowered its stats, but anyway, Rayla Boom is still strong. Even without uh the 70 Grassy Glide. And uh 60 base power also allows Grassy Glide to be used by technician mons, specifically Brelu. So there's that. Flutter main. Oh my Flutter main has burning jealousy. Which allows it to be a fast mon to control those stat boosting mon, so you cannot just stand against Flutter Mean and boost because it has Burning Jealousy. Man, it's getting crazier. And Blood Moon or Sulana Spolter. Yeah, I mean, go Spolter guys, give it. Clarion uh, Moltres Rose. Glimora using Meteor Beam. Yeah, I think Glimora could use some more uh, diverse movesets. The tapus are back. The tapus are back. Oh my god. The tapus are back. What the heck? If the tapus are back. Oh my god. I'm having flashbacks from the Sword and Shield meta. And regulation E is about to get crazier. Uh, Iron Crunch's Ice Beam, Raging Bolt uses Fire Blast. 
upper hand which kind of as an anti fake out anti priority brother minion psychic noise i think it's the anti heal one so that's nice okay that's it for the vgc stuff man, it's only been like 15 minutes it gets crazy it's getting crazier man okay let's see here Returning TMs. Uh, toxic knockoff, slack off, boost, head smash. Head smash would be good, especially with rock headmons. Wonder room, magic room. Scald, scald with the TM. I wonder who can access scald. Scald is a very good support. Very good move for support to water types. My horsepower breaking swipe. Actually liking this. Spirit break, expanding force. Dude, if they give Fluttermane expanding force, that would be crazy. They should have, They should not give it expanding force. Scale shot, meteor beam, mist explosion, grassy glide. So everybody gets grassy glide, rising voltage. I can now use like Raichu, Alolan Raichu, for example, with electric and psychic terrain. Terrain if uh, Raichu has expanding force. Rain balls. Skitter Smack, Burning Jealousy, so everything from the uh, Isle of Armor DLC and the, the DLC, the Sword and Shield DLC is coming back. Triple Axel, they should give it back to Weavile. Weavile is so sad without the Triple Axel. Flip Turn, uh, Dual Wing Beat, Scourging Sands, and Corrosive Gas, and Coaching. Coaching is nice. Uh, maybe we can now use the Riolo Coaching strat again. Because it's been overdue. It needs to come back. Now we're gonna check this. Common home move, home move relearner only from Sword and Shield BTSP and Pele. Charizard gets back. Source Scorching Sands and Roost. Nice. You have like bulky Charizard sets. Arbok has Dragon Dance. Not really, not really relevant. Raichu has Rising Voltage and Expanding Force. So. Now we, uh, just as I, as I said earlier, we can use like rising voltage and expanding force with Raichu on a team with electric terrain and like psychic terrain. So in DD or tornadoes, ah, uh, thunderous or like you can go Puko, ah, uh, you can go Pinkerjin, but I really prefer the manual electric terrain one than the psychic. Uh, Sand Slash has knockoff, which is nice for Sand Slash, but it will not get as much usage. Sand Slash Alola should be better a little bit with Triple Axel and knockoff. Clefable. This is one of the mods that I think would uh, get lower usage because Clefable, Clefairy, uh, I think just. Mousehold is better. Mousehold is better. Uh, Dugtray Alola, high horsepower, nice. It's a Dugtray Alola is fast. I think it's fast. So, uh, it would be good usage on him. Dog tree, of course, still there. I mean, Arena Trap is nice, I guess. Golduck with Skull. Golduck with Cloud Knight. Could be better when it when the legendaries, the Weather Wars arrive. I actually use one on my special team with Iron Leaves. Skald. Skald is always good on supporting water types. Skald is always good for supporting water types because it provides burn. And if you're going against a physical attacker, burn is always nice. Except guns. Anyway, uh, Slowpoke has Skald. Slowpoke, Slowbro, and actually the slow line has Skald. And Expanding Force, which is nice because it's another additional tool for the slow line. Plus Toxic, which is actually weird because Slowbro should have slow bro galar should have toxic to begin with scyther had got its dlc moves back with dual wing beat and roost uh dual wing beat i don't know if it has roost and knockoff in earlier generations but it's nice that it has it provides scissor more uh utility high horse power on tauros it's fine Snorlax, Slack of Snorlax, sadly, uh, I think would be outclassed by other setup mods, but yeah, Slack of is fine. But, but 
Vaporeon, Vaporeon, Vaporeon has Scald and Flip Turn. It would get a little bit of usage more now that it has Scald and Flip Turn. Critical Nogalar, Roost, Burning Jealousy. They didn't give it Expanding Force, which is sad. Should have Expanding Force. But I think Burning Jealousy is still good too. But still is still frail. Subtus Killer has Roost. Nothing relevant, I guess. Moltres, Scorching Sands. Scorching Sands on Moltres is nice because it allows it to hit uh, ones that are prone to grass, uh, to ground type moves, I guess. And Scorching Sands is just a good support moves. I mean, ev almost everything, every tutor move here from the Isle of Armor DLC is actually good. So there's that. Moltres, Galar, Burning Jealousy. Okay, so you can boost and punish others from boosting themselves. So I mean, Moltres Color should have it anyway. The Dragon Line. Dragonite Line. Breaking Swipe. Dual Wing Pit. And Scale Shot. Scale Shot. Going to Dragonite is actually nice. Another additional, so additional uh, move, I guess. Dual Wing Pit. I don't really calculate that much, but I think uh, you could calculate a choice ban, a max attack adamant dragonite with dual wing bit should be able to KO Among Us. But of course, Among Us, I prefer Among Us to be KO'd like to be opposed or with small HP so that the return from the uh, berry would be still would still be small. And should be in KO range. Mewtwo, Expanding Force. Nice addition to Mewtwo. Mew, of course, always have everything. Getting all these freaking moves. But we're not gonna use it. We, we're... I think... Uh, Mewtwo would be... A little bit good with Expanding Force. But Mew... Mew is... It's Mew. It's Mew. <laughs> Type Lotion with Scorching Sands. Uh, nice move, I guess. Pass Scorching Sands user. Kisui type lotion also gets one. Amparos, Rising Voltage, uh, Coverage, and Slack Off. Uh, Azumari, Mystic Explosion, High Horsepower, and Spirit Break. High Horsepower is a good uh, ground type move against Azumari, I guess. Provides uh, more coverage to steel types that would otherwise uh, defeat the fairy type. Mystic Explosion, given. Bugsire has called in high horse high horsepower. Uh does Claude Sire I, I think Claude Sire should have one too, I guess. Slow King, Scald Expanding Force. Given slow line. Uh Markro has roost. Why would you ever roost on Markro? Espeon expanding force. Good. Scissor. Scissor. This is like a decider line. Very good. Dual wing bit knock off and roost. Heracross, high horsepower, nice additional moves to hit the ground. Okay, so Sneasel gets Throat Chop and Triple Axel, which is nice because now Weavile would get Triple Axel and would get its viability back. The main reason why Weavile isn't seeing much usage because they removed the freaking Triple Axel and Weavile, essentially relegating it to lower tiers. Uh, Glygar doling with Roost. Uh, you can now improve those sets with uh, Poison Heal Glyscor, I guess. Pilus Wine, Higher Power, Slack Off, Given, Tyranitar, Head Smash. Support Tyranitar with Breaking Swipe with Nice. A Head Smash and Horsepower are powerful moves. Sets for Tyranitar. Uh, Ludicolo has called. It's just another thing. I mean, Swip, Swip, Swim, Scald, Ludicolo uh, is such a nice uh, move to counteract those attacking modes. So there's that. Shift 3 has Glide. Good addition. Still re un irrelevant. Pelipper has Scald, but with the emergence of Politoed, I think I'm going to be using Politoed more. Uh, Curlia, transfer from Sword and Shield to PL PLA if you want expanding force. So you need to transfer from Sword and Shield to Legends RCUs. Yeah, I'm not really fond of that. 
Gardevoir has expanding force. Okay, expanding force pretty good for Gardevoir. Gardevoir is like a fast psychic mon. That's of 10 has doesn't doesn't enough doesn't have enough damage, but expanding force is a nice addition. Banet, Duskull, Dusclops, the Dusk line as Polter guys given to us is its ghost. Salamence line, skill shot, good. Granny swipes good. You have intimidate and like breaking swipe, so it's a very nice combo to lower attack of opponent and head smash. I think head smash head, head smash should have been given to uh, Salamence to begin with, considering Sheldon. You know, you understand? Kyogre has called. I mean, yeah, sure. Still good on Kyogre, but Origin Pulse and the other one I forgot the move. I forgot the move. The the other one because you have eruption and the other one is like ah, I forgot the name but it's the water coverage one. Rodon has heat crash and head smash. In most of the time, you just immediately attack with Groudon, maybe sword stance, but I still prefer the other options. You cannot go heat crash, then head smash, and then his signature. I forgot his signature move. What the heck? And not be scolded for it i guess uh okay so torterra with grassy glide with high horsepower is nice because it boosts another ground type uh set ground type move i guess grassy glide with torterra is actually nice because it would be able because it's, it's particularly slow and it would be able to hit bonds consistently with grassy glide so that's nice for Torterra. Infernape has Scorching Sands, okay. Aura Spear, which is nice, but Infernape is mostly like physical. I guess just his close combat. Uh, Empoleon, Roast, Left Turn, and Skull is actually good. You can set up like uh, Empoleon with Spikes or Toxic, but uh, the Stealth Rocks or something, and then Left Turn, then go Skull. Empoleon is a nice support. With water and steel, like that. The Ravia's Roost, of course, is a bird. Load Cell, Flip Turn. We actually have Load Cell having usage early in previous regulation, but it dropped off significantly. Gastrodon Scald, so it's a big improvement. Gastrodon getting Scald back. Great support move, especially for Gastrodon. So I think we will be seeing more of this. Roost on Hotchko, Defog, given. Your chop line, skill shot, bringing swipe to smash. Still good. Riolu with coaching, so Riolu will get coaching back, so that means we can now use Rockstar coaching with Riolu. Uh, Lucario, Blaze Kick. Okay, I mean, Lucario is like the fighter guy. Hippopota, so he's higher power, given head smash cover. Weavile, Triple Axel, very nice, I explained that earlier. Yan Mega with Hurricane Rose Sticky Web. You could actually go like Yan Mega under rain with Hurricane Rose and Sticky Web like a support. Uh support uh Yan Mega who cannot be hit and could hit back with Hurricane. So that's an option. Leafion has knockoff, which is nice on some teams with Leafion running chlorophyll. Uh Glace Core, the wing wing bit used as I said, you can now use Rose and like poison heal and stuff. Ramoswine, higher spark given, Galade, triple axel, Galade with triple axel is actually nice. I hope like Iron Valiant gets it too. Does triple axel go with sharpness? I don't think so. It's not, it's, it's not like a sword move or something. Does Nor, Poltergeist, Ali Switch, good support move, Poltergeist, strong attack, cast attack for Does Nor. Frostlass has triple axel, I mean special attack, or why would you have triple axel and Poltergeist? Mesprit, Ally Switch, Palkia, Skull, Break and Swipe, good, I guess, Skull, you can have like a very defensive Palkia under Trick Room, Giratina has Polter guys and Breaking Swipe, okay, Standard, Ally Switch with Cresselia, Ally Switch, Cresselia has Ally Switch insert in this generation to their stuff, Skull on Samurot and Flip Turn, very nice, you can, okay, you can have like Flip Turn, Samurot, Hisui, but they didn't give Skull to Samurai Tsui. Why is that? They should have given like because Samurai Tsui could benefit with it, with like support Skull flip turn, the spikes one. Uh, Controller has knockoff and horse power. 
it could be a good setter on the group Nivani with knockoff very good uh, coming back from the seller coming back from the seller that is black and white <laughs> Vascalina super power and flip turn so you can actually have Vascalegion going for flip turns which is actually scary uh, Krokorok has knockoff Crocodile scale shot and Crocodile is actually nice got to tell <laughs> and I can now use Gotitel Expanding Force Ado Shadow Tag with Perish Song? I mean, I could like screen, I could like use like Screen Tail Perish Song, then switch to NDD, Expanding Force, and that would be good. Among Us Toxic. I mean, Among Us is still toxic without the toxic, so. Uh, has a scale shot, uh, the King Gabit line has knock off and lush out. Dark type moves, fine. Mandibus, not really relevant. Hydreigon getting superpower. Break his heart and roost. Nice addition to Hydreigon has dropped in usage, so sad. Polcarona roost. You can now have bulky Polcaronas, but I mean, it still dies to flat to, to Urshifu unless it gets burned with flame body. Except. Redanus Tyrion with knockoff for the forces of nature. Let's call this has knockoff, so it's good. I mean Landorus. I think Landorus has knockoff. Does it does it not have one? Yeah. Landorus would benefit more with this knockoff. Uh just not. That's Grassy Glide, a fast option under Grassy Terrain. There's that. Delfox has Expanding Force Delfox could be nice. Because it's not it's not a psychic type that would easily die to dark types, so that's there's that. Greninja with Skull Flip turn actually nice. But I mean with Battle Bond. Nerf don't see much usage for Greninja. Pyroar. Swording chance. Gorgeous Miss Explosion. Go go Grassy Glide. Grassy Glide is actually strong. I do have I do have some go go teams that I would be using. Uh, you, you'll see later. Uh, Dragalji, Sludge Waves, Cold Flipper. Nice. Clone Shirt, Carping. Not really. Gudra, Spirit Inside. Oh man, this is nasty. Uh, uh, Tank Gudra. Going for like Shell Armors. I uh, know that Shell Armor. Going for. What do you call this? Iron Defense and then Breaking Swiping you. You will not be able to kill this Gudra. That's it. Revenant, Classic Light, Avalog, Hyro Spire, Head Smash, Avalog is we no one really uses it. Dark Tricks will Classic Light is nice. Uh, the Sid Joy, I mean, because it's relatively slow, so it's a nice addition. Even his Sui, the Sid Joy got one. Like a truck with Head Smash, I, I mean, I'd rather use the Endeavor. Rebound Piru, Head Smash, Head Smash. Toxapex, could you could get some usage with Scald and Knock Off? Toxapex is one of the most toxic ones. Pair it with, like, I don't know, Gudra or something. That's annoying to deal with. Some uh, Most of the time, I just turn off the switch if I battle someone like that. Garanti's Knock Off, good. Scorching Sun, Burning Jelly, Salazel. You can now use Salazel support more. Sharina with triple axel knock off and grassy light. Actually, this could get Sharina's uh, usage more with these three moves. Now she has access against grass and flying. Knock off against psychic and grassy light. You, you, just, you just need to support it with uh, speed control. Biokumoku was toxic. Does anyone use Biokumoku and not like fun deck teams? I don't know. Kumo with oh Kumo was called the knock off that would be nice. Now knock it, it now a boosted Kumo would now have answers to like flutter main and stuff, so that's nice. Called actually still good. That's actually nice. That's actually freaking nice. Kumo, I think Kumo is one of the ones that would get a lot of usage and regulation. The tapus, it gets the. Of course, Tapus coming back, so we get now support 
ability to set up terrain. So it's gonna be terrain wars and regulation E, I guess. I'm gonna see Bulky tapo Fini with flip flip turning the heck. Tapo Lele, I guess. Tapo Bulu, even. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be using this so much. Grassy Glide, Rillaboom, Tear S. Italian as called. Good. Uh, Dread Nair's Power, Brescuda. Atherin getting Expanding Force. Now we can get to the Trick Room stuff. Double Expanding Force under Trick Room should be a nice as, uh, thing to use. Knock off with Grim Snarl. Utility boom with damage. So it's good. The DD with Expanding Force. Yeah. That's really nice. You can now go like Trick Room or Indeed. You can go no Armor Rouge and Indeed Double Expanding Force. Pinkerchy. Rising Voltage. Okay. Head Smash. Oh my god. <laughs> Dragapult has Breaking Swipe. So you can make it support. Polter guys has strong ghost type moves. You don't need to Terra anymore. You just go like Polter guys. Uh, you don't need to even Phantom Force anymore. Just go Polter guys. Scald. Man, this is just getting crazier. And then those Major Beam. Zarud. Plus Glide Knockoff. Ah, okay. Regi Elegi Rising Voltage. You can now go like Rising Voltage on Electric Terrain with like. Electroweb and explosion support something. Last year, high fire's power. Should have had it the first time. My horse power. Horse power. It's a horse. What the heck? What the heck, Green Peak? What are you doing? Caloric Shadow with expanding force. Or maybe Caloric still. Uh Yeah. Caloric is psychic, I mean. There's no way it wouldn't have expanding force. Uh, Cleavor, transfer from EDSP to PLA before evolve. We have Roast. Roast knock off high horse power. I don't really need to use Roast on Cleavor, but I guess. Weird Deer, high horse power. Nice craft type of Basque Legion with Flip Turn actually and Polter guys. Uh, because, you know, Basque Legion often uh, has less respects and you cannot really rely on this so you cannot lead Rascal Legion we need someone to be KO'd first so Polter guys is a nice addition flip turn obviously good you can now sweep swim Rascal Legion flip into someone that resists whatever's coming on the Rascal Legion slot so that's nice the female Rascal Legion has called so it's nice and Amorous has knock off spirit break nice going knock off it allows more viability on the Amorous Meow's Karada with Grassy Glide is actually good considering it's a fast one and uh, it allows for more option but I mean if damage, we're talking about damage, I'd rather use Flower Trek. Quay Quay Vol with Triple Axel and Flitter actually make it more viable considering it doesn't have options to... it doesn't have a lot of options Gargana Kala F Force Power Head Smash, nice. Sarulage Folder guys. Spatra expanding force we can, we can see uh in the Spatra I guess. Then think at one Iris Power Spirit Break, very nice, slash out. Rubble gas with grassy glide. So you Rubble Gas will not have to rely on Power Whip anymore. <laughs> I guess. Folder guys is actually nice also. Uh, Dreamer with a flip turn, Veloza no one just flip. Oh my god. You can now use Bulky Dondozo with Scald and flip turn. So, what happens if Dondozo like flip turns and then it has Tatsugiri inside? I really don't know what that is. Anyway, uh, Annihilate, Poltergeist, Lash Out, another additional moves for Pup or Annihilate. Cloudstar has Scald. Yeah, I'm, I'm just talking about it earlier. Scald is nice on Cloudstar and it finally has one. So it, I think I, I might be using Cloudstar again in the near future. The Dawn Spores, Dueling Beat, Tarajir Up. Dude. put Expanding Force on Tarajir Up. I mean, yeah, it doesn't have terrain, but still strong. Because. I don't want to think about it too much, but it's still strong. Expanding force on Predator is strong. Uh, King Gambit, Lash Out, Knock Off. Uh, good additions, but I mean, 
yung gamit ko just I mean knock off wood could be knock off could be useful dash out I think not much plus caliber skill shot higher power nice okay chain pao getting lash out flutter minus burning jealousy good but I mean thank god they didn't give it expanding force the only thing I'm scared about is flutter main getting expanding force that's it that's it uh, iron mod iron mod burning jealousy thing blue head smash burning jealousy scale shot triple axel yeah okay so iron iron valiant getting triple axel is actually nice because it allows more option and with a strong iron valiant it could just defeat opponents so yeah so Horizon skill shot Horizon rising voltage that's all of them please do check Roy Dada do I would be putting the links on the description and shout out to like Scoot Easy because I would not be able to see these links without his channel so yeah uh, thank you and see you on the next one